Let's examine the Huth Psalter, which is shown here on the British Library's catalog of illuminated manuscripts. This work is from England, and it's thought to be from the late 13th century, which would place it pretty squarely in the Gothic period. And the page that I have chosen to examine does demonstrate many of the major tropes of illuminated manuscripts from that period, with one major exception, uh, which I'll dive into in a moment. But first, let's take a look at the page as a total. We can see that it's a full page, very intricate initial, the letter B right here. And because this is a Psalter or a book of Psalms, we can imagine that this particular letter B is the first letter leading into the Psalm that is on the next page. Now, without access to the next page, our best guess for what it could be is the beginning of the term Beatus Vir, which is Latin for blessed is the man. Blessed is the man is the first phrase in the beginning of Psalm 1. So our best guess is that this could be leading into Psalm 1 here on the next page. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this page right here. Now, we can see here as we scroll down that this image is a full page historiated initial, or rather a scene within a letter. And this enlarged letter B contains a trope called the Tree of Jesse. Now, the Tree of Jesse is not actually from the Gothic period. It was a major uh, image that was used in the previous Romanesque period. So this could potentially be a holdover from that. The Tree of Jesse right here shows a dreaming Jesse at the base of the tree. And we can see as the tree grows from him, these are his descendants to come, King David, and then eventually leading up to the Christ child, hold here by Mary, and then later Jesus as an adult right here. Now, this is an example also of hierarchy. Hierarchy not necessarily shown through the size of the figures, but of their placing within the image that Jesse is very important right here as the base of this tree and the largest image here, but the hierarchy also being shown as the tree grows, literally the taller you get, the more important the figures become as we have Christ the Lord Savior at the very, very top. Now the image here is also very reminiscent of a stained glass window as most Gothic imagery was during that time. And also an image from the Gothic period, we see that there is a heavy use of red and blue in this picture. And even if we look over here to the right where we can see a bit of the next page, we can see red and blue continuing into initials that are leading into the text over here. That was a common practice in the Gothic period as a means of separating chapters or key lines in biblical text um, to really emphasize their meaning. Now the animals that are here along the edge in the curly cues of the bee and particularly at the top right here seem reminiscent of Celtic imagery left over from the insular period, these kind of long necks with the wings. That could simply be a coincidence or it could be a leftover style that was maintained or mimicked throughout Ireland and England even into the late Middle Ages.